hope you're having a really great week. Today we're gonna to be doing a really fun project that only requires a straw and some um, food coloring from your kitchen. So I'm gonna be showing you how we're going to paint with a straw and these food colors so that um, we can make something that looks really awesome. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I already showed you that you only need um, a straw and some food coloring. And I'm gonna show you how we get to um, pour the food coloring into these different bowls and add water to them. So I'm gonna start with my blue. So if you have food coloring at your house, you don't need much. Um, ask mom's permission before you use these because um, these will stain your clothes. So be very careful, maybe have your parents do this for you um, so that your hands don't turn um, lots of different colors. So I'm gonna just do a little bit in each of my um, clear bowls. And um, this is gonna be a lot of fun. So if you don't have a disposable straw like I showed you, if you have a plastic one and mom says that's fine, like one that um, maybe looks like this, and um, that could work as well, but I'm gonna be using my bendy straw. So I'm going to pour my water into each of these. And I have blue, an orangey yellow, re um, red and green. And so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna um, not um, take a drink of this. I mean, it wouldn't be bad because it would just be water with a little bit of food coloring so it wouldn't hurt you but um, I'm going to be um, sucking in a little bit through the straw and then I'm going to blow it onto my paper just like that okay so I'm going to go into a new color You might want to lay something down underneath your paper because mine just got all over the counter. Wow, I think this looks really cool. So if you have a lot of excess water, extra water that is just floating on your paper, um, I want you to grab a paper towel and just carefully put it right on top Okay, and we're gonna lift it up. Okay, really good. And then I am going to turn it over because I like how the splatters are going this way. And then you can let this dry. Um, and I really like how the colors began to um, bleed together and mix. So if you wanna do this again, you absolutely can. So I think I wanna add a little bit more blue um, and maybe a little more green. Okay, okay so again, get a paper towel So we're just gonna lay it on top and lift it up and see what design happens. I think this is really fun. Um, it be kind of messy, so you might wanna lay something underneath it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just let this dry and we'll see what it looks like whenever we're done. And I'll hang it on our fridge. And it's super fun and super cool to see all the different colors that um, we made with all of our food coloring. So I hope that this was fun for you guys. Super easy and um, I can't wait to see all of your artwork um, in the comments below. Bye guys.